Cambodia there. made it onto our bus to Kampot. It saved a lot of time getting out of the airport by getting the yeah. e-visa. We got out of there in minutes. Uh, make sure you print them out first. I didn't, and thankfully the guy was nice enough or flirted with Kate enough <laughs> that uh, <laughs> I have a feeling if Chris had done first, he would make us go back through. Blue Buddha in Kampot. This place is really snazzy. I think it's like twenty-four dollars a night. Good morning. Well, unfortunately, Kate is having her yearly migraine. Well, she's in bed. I'm water enough to find some food. This place, the Magic Sponge, was highly recommended. A full English breakfast with a big old cup of coffee for six bucks. We're gonna get some food at the night market. Well, the night market was technically open, but uh. The oil and stuff wasn't hot yet at the food vendor, so we're gonna go check out down along the riverside, see if we can scrape up some street food. Camp pot's situated along both sides of this river. Beautiful little walkway down here. No idea what this wonderful little thing is. They didn't speak any English, and I don't speak any Khmer, but it was a thousand riels, 25 cents. Crap, it is hot. Banana rice. Not super sweet, really crispy. Oh, that's awesome. Gorgeous sunset going on here across the river. We've had a great meal. It's so cheap here. It's great. It started pouring torrentially. So we came to get coffee. Tonight's taste test is chili roasted squid. Very good. Wow, the aftertaste. Holy cow. Whoa. <laughs> it's the taste started out good. It's really weird and... I don't know how you made it that long. It tastes like oil and tobacco and plastic. Yeah. We stand corrected. No. Thumbs down. <laughs> I'm wandering up to the train station that's just on the outskirts of town to uh, see about buying some tickets. Ticket purchasing adventure, a success. One of the coolest uses I've ever seen for tires these are all old tires that flip them inside out and make them garbage cans. It's a pretty good bet that if there's water somewhere near, we're gonna go walk by it. This is a tuk-tuk and that is some nun. Tuk-tuks are a very common form of transportation around here for a private driver. 35 bucks for the day is pretty common. We got a nice driver and a really nice tuk-tuk. Oh, very comfortable. We're gonna go do a little tour of the surrounding areas of Camp Hot. I can't pronounce the Khmer name, but this is called the Temple in the Cave. This part is flooded right now because we just came out of rainy season, but so we're heading down to the temple. Beautiful view of the countryside from up here. Can you show me the elephant here? Okay. And this ear, and here, the eye, and this trunk. The temple down here in the bottom of the cave. It's beautiful. It's a Hindu temple. And off we go through the rice paddies. We had to help the cars and get out of the tuk tuk for a minute, so I got up the hill. Pretty sure he's not gonna leave us, we have to pay. <laughs> the beauty of rural Cambodia is really breathtaking. I didn't realize it was so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Dam. <laughs> no, we're, we're on a dam. <laughs> Check out these tiny little boats. It's called a sensitive plant or a magic plant. <laughs> That's cool. In Cambodia we call it Hestra Neck. Tourists call this secret lake, but the Cambodians call this history lake. Not going to get into all the depressing details you can read about it, but this was the site of a lot of horrific things, and they call it secret lake uh, because they tried to cover it up. Kampot is famous for pepper. These are the pepper trees. They start out like these brick ones, and then the pepper actually grows on vines. I want to try the red. Yeah. It's very mild. When you're chewing on pepper, it could be so delightful. <laughs> we did learn Camp Hot Pepper is very famous and sold all over the world. 
the shops downtown, none of that is legitimate camp hot pepper. It's all fake. The only place you can buy real camp hot pepper is here at the farms. All the rest of it is exported. So, if you bought camp hot pepper downtown, sucka! Doesn't get much more fresh than that. We're gonna try one of these little squid. That's fantastic. Fresh market squid, one dollar. That was awesome. And right up until the point where I bit and squirt squidding all up my nose. Boy, I can see why the Cap Crab Market is one of the most popular tourist sites around here. It is amazing. Haha, <laughs> I didn't say beautiful. Damn it, I just said beautiful. Check out lunch. Ours is in a coconut. I'm going right through that floor. Right on the water. We got a giant coconut filled with crab meat and uh, curry and then rice, and it's like eight bucks. Monkeys! It's a really cool little beach. The water's nice and warm, pretty clear. Got a crazy statue behind us. I'm sure there's history to it, but I didn't check. <laughs> Must to do. Very much so. Must to do. Must to do. <laughs> Good morning. It is chilly. Every place we're going on this trip is just amazing. Every place we're going in this life is just amazing. I'm trying to get away from beautiful stuff. Let's go to amazing. That is the Durian Roundabout. Bye bye. This is how the kids pass time waiting for the train in Camp Hot. Thank you. We got some boiled eggs and some bananas. Snack time. Yeah.